Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today we're going to learn the difference between a female and a male radiated slider turtle. Stay with us. Okay, so here are my radiated sliders, guys. Um, I wanted to make a video on how to tell the difference between a male and a female. Lots of people ask me this. And there are a few com commonalities between radiated sliders and other turtles and tortoises, but there is also something very, very specific for this type of turtle that I'd like to show you. So this big girl right up front, that's my largest female, Leah. So I'm going to scoop her up. She's the sweetest. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, sweetie. She's the sweetest. I'm going to scoop her up for you to show her to you. So this is Leah, everybody. She's probably about 10 years old. And she's approaching a full size for a female rated slider. So full grown females reach to about a shell length of around 10 inches, seems to be the average as far as I can tell. I've seen a few larger, but uh, usually it's about 10 inches. You can tell it's a rated slider because they have that typical red eared markings, uh, which is usually more like an orange on the side of the head. And they're very, very beautiful underneath the shell markings, very, very pretty markings, okay? Now, their actual shell is mostly kind of like a subdued green, but it does have some lighter tans on it. Um, some of them have some more browns, and uh, they're a very, very pretty turtle overall. It's very important if you have one, you never, ever release them into the wild. These are a very, very invasive species, especially here in Massachusetts. And I actually have to have a state permit even so I can have these. The only reason I got the permit is because these are educational outreach animals. So the females are a lot larger, and that's true for most turtles. And the reason why is because the females have to have room inside their shell to carry the eggs. Depending on what type of turtle it is, you're looking at anywhere from five to a dozen or more eggs, depending on what kind of a turtle. So they have to have room inside there for the mom to, to have the eggs while she's carrying them before she deposits them in her nest area, okay? So that's why the females are larger. The males are sometimes half the size or a little bit larger than the females, depending on what species, again, you have. And that's also true with the raider slider. I'll compare a male to her in a moment. So, aside from size, let's say your turtles are younger, they're not full grown yet. How do you tell if it's a boy or a girl? You look at the tail. And this is true for all turtles and tortoises. You look at the tail. Look at her itty bitty little tail folded up there along her shell. That's her tail. So, compared to the size of this turtle, her tail is quite small, very, very, very tiny, okay? And also, if you look at where her cloaca is, which is right there where the tip of my finger is, compared to the tip of her tail, um, it does not go that far out beyond the edge of her shell if she were sticking her tail straight out. That's also very, very typical of a female, okay? The claws are all going to be about the same length, meaning, oh, stop it, meaning fronts versus backs. You can see um, they're about a centimeter. In length. The backs are a little bit longer actually on her. You can see her little back nails right there. I'm going to put her back in here. I'll calm down you. Let's see if we can get a boy. I know who I want to get. Where is... There he is. Get me you go. Okay, here's a boy. This is Michelangelo because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fun fact, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are actually sliders. So, this is one of my boys. Notice right away, a lot smaller, right? A lot smaller of a turtle. He still has that red stripe. He's not really showing it right now because he's popped inside the shell so far. But he also has the reddish, which is actually an orange stripe, redder slider uh, markings. Now, let's look at his tail. Check out that tail. You see how large that one is. See that whole thing is his tail. And also, let me see if he'll let me pull it out. No, nope, he's got it pretty tight in there. But if you were to look, if he was pulling it out all the way, where the cloaca is is much further out along the tail. And that would help him during the mating so he can get above the female and maneuver his tail around under her shell for the mating process. So the male's tail is much longer, much thicker. The cloaca is out a lot further also, okay? Now the other main difference, this is just for radiated sliders now. They're very, very specific just for this individual species. Here's how to tell for sure if you have a boy. Look at his front fingernails. He's got a Freddy Krueger thing going on. 
He needs a manicure big time. Just kidding, I wouldn't do that to him. So the males have extra long front nails just on the front limbs. Look at the rear. The rear, you can see it's tucked in there, but they're also small, you can see it, okay? They're small compared to those. They're huge. A reason why, if you ever watch these during their mating, they have kind of a courtship ritual. The males will come around in front of the female, right in front of her face, and with both limbs, they'll tickle her. Just, they'll tickle her like that with those nails. They'll try to tickle her chin, and that's their courtship. It's really cool if you ever see that happen. Um, sometimes at Bass Pro Shops, they have an exhibit with these turtles, and if you watch them for a few minutes, a lot of times you'll see the males doing that. It's pretty cool. So the males have extra long front fingernails for mating. So those are the differences. I'm going to grab Leah again, hopefully she's in a better mood, and I'll show you the size difference and the fingernail and the cloaca difference, holding the two of them together. Come here, beautiful. Come here again, sweetheart. Okay. So here they are right away. Check out the size difference. Okay, guys? Right away, female here, male here. This is a full-grown male. It's quite a large male, actually, compared to the female. So, overall shell length, she's probably not quite, you know, twice the size, but with mass, oh yeah, she's 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 a lot, she's a lot heavier, a lot more bulky than this male. Okay. Now look at the front nails. Like I said, look at Leah's nails, and look at Michelangelo's nails. You can see his nails right there, much much longer, and he's a smaller turtle. But his nails are a lot larger. And now we're going to look at their cloacas. Let me flip them upside down, which I don't like, but just one time for the camera here, you guys. So look at the tails there. Look at this male. The male is a lot smaller than her. Look how much longer his tail is. And then I know you can't see it, but the opening of the cloaca would be further out on his also. Okay? So compared to how big the turtle is, the tail on a male is much, much, much larger. And that is how you tell, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna let these guys back in there. All right, I'm done showing them your bits. I'm so rude. I'm so rude. How dare I? There you go. He'll just sink up. There he goes. Zoom, he's off. Thanks for watching this, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little bit. Please subscribe to Animal World Experience on YouTube. See you next time.